What is up, people? Today I want to discuss something a little bit different that I've seen a lot of comments on throughout my videos over even, like, years. And that is, does Ashes of Creation have too much content for launch? But before we get too far into this, if you're not subscribed and 79.1% of you are not, you should click that subscribe button because that's how you get more Ashes of Creation content notifications. Anyways, when you look at MMORPGs, the majority of MMOs, except for New World, who's a lost puppy trying to figure out what it is, have one big focus feature at launch. There tends to be that one feature that everything else surrounds. But then there's Ashes of Creation. Ashes of Creation has nodes, it has castle sieges, it has dungeons and raids, it has naval content, it has a complex crafting system, and every single one of these features have even more complex designs behind them. Whether that be like animal husbandry system, or the different crafting trees behind their entire artisan system, or just the way nodes work and unlock content, and have the policies and sieges and citizenship and all of that. Dungeons Dungeons and raids being complex, everything Intrepid does is making it very in-depth and very complex, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. To me, I love it. But to the casual player out there, is it going to be too much? Well, Intrepid keeps saying that Ashes of Creation is not meant for everybody, which is very true. It's not going to be a very casual, catered game. There's a lot of complex systems behind it that will take time, whether that be hours or days or months. It's not going to happen quick. But there is so much content behind there, it's like they're adding content for everybody, but then taking away the casual part from it. So like, you can't just jump into the world and go fishing. I mean, you can, but in order to hit that max level fishing, you're gonna need a boat and you're gonna go deep sea fishing. You can't just go in and jump in and do raids because there's no fast travel. There's no quick way to get there. You gotta form your group and the raid is open world. So other players could be there. Again, none of this is alone a bad thing. I think Intrepid has really good systems in place and Ashes is gonna be an excellent game. But for a new player, who's jumping into an MMO, who doesn't have a lot of time on their hands, this is going to be an overwhelming amount of choice on what that player should do. Yes, it's kind of divided because you have PvP players and PvE players, but even behind that, what are you going to do? Are you going to do arenas? Are you going to join a guild and try to do a siege? Are you just going to go out into the open ocean and fight people as a pirate? Or PvE, are you going to craft? Are you going to explore? Are you going to do dungeons and raids? Are you going to do all all of these complex systems behind every single one of these things it's a really tough overwhelming choice for a new player or just a player that doesn't have a lot of time there will be stuff in the game that you can do that you can jump in and do for a little bit and log out because that's all you have time to do but in order to hit that end game i feel like you're gonna need to be able to dedicate a decent chunk of time to feel like you've accomplished really anything because you're not gonna hit max level artisan mastery fishing or whatever it is by being a casual fisherman what will kind of speed things up is first of all this game is very group oriented you're going to want to join a guild or you're going to want to party up with friends being solo in this game while you can do it probably not the right way to go if you want to accomplish it especially as a casual player you'll want to join a larger guild where there's other people that you can do stuff with to help speed up the process and the second thing is i think nodes themselves are going to slow down the process to how this game works because at least at launch at launch again you're going into this open empty server there is not really any content i mean there's content but it's hidden and then you got to progress the nodes you got to level them up to unlock new stuff and all of that so it's going to be a slow steady pace to get to that end game content it's going to be like 200 hours to level the nodes can take weeks to months to level up so you're not going to get everything at once but once those nodes are established once you have your five metropolises on the server and all the vassal nodes and ever all of that you're as a player who jumps in after this point first of all you're missing out on probably the best part of the game i think is seeing the server grow although it can still change down the road through sieges but you're going to jump in and everything is going to be available to you not maybe there will be restrictions based on level and all of that but there's still going to be a hell of a lot more to do and a lot more of an overwhelming feel to the game if you're jumping in six months down the road instead of at launch so to answer the question yes and no i think that there will be way too much content in ashes of creation for a cat player you're not going to be able to do even nearly as much as you would hope you're not going to be able to accomplish everything as a casual player and by the time you get to that point where you feel like you can 
the world could change. That dungeon that you are striving to gear up for could be gone because of a siege. Whereas if you have the time to dedicate this, you want to put a little bit more effort into it, then yes, you will be able to hit that end game stuff and there probably won't be too much content for you because that's not really something you hear. You don't hear of an MMO launching with too much content. You only hear the complaints of when there is not enough, but there is always the possibility that all of this content is going to spread the population out. Everybody's going to go each and every direction doing their own thing. And a lot of the content could get abandoned unless it's tied back into the node system and it becomes crucial content. Or you're going to run into another reason where you don't have enough players that are active to do certain things. If Intrepid hits their 500 v 500 sieges, that's one tenth of the server that you need to do a full siege. Not saying that's not possible, especially at launch there's going to be a ton of players but unless this game holds a steady player number like world of warcraft did in its peaks with 15 20 million players consistently without a huge dip then i feel like down the road you're going to run into the issue of there is too much content or there's not enough players to fulfill all of that content that's in the game again we're really gonna have to wait until alpha 2 to see how this stuff plays out because if intrepid designs a good system around this that kind of leads a casual player into okay these are the things that you can do with this amount of time then i think it'll be a lot more player friendly to those types of players because there are casual players who will try this game it may not be meant for casual players but the amount of hype surrounding ashes of creation when this game finally comes out you're going to see all the large streamers playing it all the promotions the ads everything and if it's as good as we hope it is you're going to see all sorts of news articles on it and things like that and everybody's going to want to try this game even if you you don't have the time to do it like a lot of casual players will probably jump in and be like wow there's a lot i'm going to slowly pick my way through this but in, if intrepid puts in a system that leads these casual players to the correct content without making the game casual i think that's probably the way to go about it but i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i'm just kind of going on a tangent here with this video but let me know what you think in regards to content is there such thing as too much content to you and if there is in your casual player how could intrepid intrepid keep the same amount of content they have within the game but make it more appealing to yourself as a casual player let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to ashes of creation and have yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums buy some cosmetic packs or just kind of chill out till you jump into the world of era someday down the road in 30 years otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come